Salut survivors, welcome back to Solid Cast channel in Medieval Dynasty Guide series. In today's video, we will discuss about your first villager. It is a short tutorial as requested by some of uh, our uh, channel subscribers to explain briefly what are the requirements and what is needed for you to have your first villagers. So let's get straight to the video survivors. I have reloaded here at uh, my uh, day five. I make a save every start of the day for the purpose of making video guides. And here we have at that moment what is a basic need to be able to receive a villager. So here I have my own house, one spare house for the villager who will be hired, the food storage here, and the resource storage. So what's important to discuss, I think, is why do we need that? The villagers will need three things beside a house. They will need wood for their fire. Okay, so the wood, so the wood can be provided through logs, sticks, or firewood. Firewood is the most efficient, and you should provide them with firewood. And that's because the villagers will take the firewood from the resource storage. That's why you need a resource storage. What you also need is a food storage. One, because they will take their food from there. And two, because they will also take their water from there. So, now, one important thing you need to know, it's the people's demand control. For example, here, you can see that I have a demand of zero food, but I currently have 681 food available. And same goes for water and for wood. Now here you can tell what you want your people to eat or not eat. They will eat traditionally the best food. So here they can already eat cabbage. They can already eat salted meat. They can already eat roasted meat. If I don't want them to eat apple, for example, I want to keep the apple for me. <laughs> Good. There. I prevent them from using apple. And you can see here, it's changing the available food for them. So we already have food available. You can do the same for all the drinks. And you can see here what are the drinks that the citizens can drink. So here it tells me that I have already drinks. I have some ale. I have some berries that consider uh, to provide some um, hydration and the uh, apples. So if I remove the apples, remove the berries for their uh, serious purpose, then I have zero water demand. Okay, that's, that's, that's important because basically I think the most efficient way at the beginning is to plan to provide buckets of water. Buckets are not very complex to produce. And once you have a lot of buckets, you will see it when I'm uh, reloading uh, a bit further, then you will see that I just have made six buckets full of water and I get water for days, okay? So, so just make a couple of buckets, fill them up with water, I'll show you in a minute, and then you put them in your food storage. This way, you provide your citizens with the food they need, the water they need, and the firewood they need, okay? So that's the minimum basic requirements here for you to get your villager, your first villager. Now, I'll show you how to make the buckets of water, because then once you have the buckets of water and all this, you are ready. And after the buckets of water, uh, we'll discuss a little bit the build order and uh, how to easily unlock uh, these different buildings uh, briefly. So, in order for you to be able to craft buckets, the first step will be to build a woodshed. And then, at your woodshed, you can craft planks. There. You get two planks for each single log. 
and the bucket of water you will see soon costs two planks. Afterwards, once you have obtained your planks, you need to build a workshop station and at the works workshop you need then to craft buckets. The scheme costs 100, so you, you buy the scheme for 100 and then you can make a bunch of buckets with the planks you did earlier. Once you have the buckets, you then need to fill the buckets with water. It can be in a creek, in a lake, or later on in a well. And once you have your buckets full of water, you can then place them in your food storage building, as uh, we saw earlier. Okay, so now that you have your food, your water, and your firewood in your buildings, and the spare house, go get your citizen to Hello. join you. Important, as usual, press ALT to be in inspector mode, so you check the skills of the person you are about to hire or to join your village. Now the first time when you get your uh, villager, rapidly place your villager into the house. There. Then at first, once you have put uh, your villager in the house, it still tells you no food, no water, no wood. It's, it's, uh, it's because you need to quit that menu and come back. And then once you come back, then, then it's okay. As long as, of course, you have the fire food, firewood, food and water. Good. As you can see here, no more uh, red, uh, red flag. All good. Okay. Then we can see Grimelda will travel up to the village. Okay. So we are now back at the morning of the day after, morning of day six. And uh, just to show you that with all our buckets of water here, so I have three at 100% and three at 90%. It's because I used, I used three of them for the, um, the bathtub outside. Now here, with these six buckets, we can see that I have with one worker, a demand of 30 per day, and I have 1,800 plus in stock. So I have literally 60 days ahead. I mean, that's, that's totally okay. Um, now, another thing I think interesting to discuss a little bit here, because I explained to you briefly what is needed, what is uh, required to do these buckets of water, which by the way, if you don't want to uh, go through the woodshed and workshop, you can just purchase uh, these buckets of water. I just think it's more efficient to, to do these two buildings because you need you need the workshop also to craft bowls, to cook, among other things. And the woodshed, well, uh, anyway, will be used by your uh, NPC worker. Uh, that's probably wise that your first villager, anyway, works as a lumberjack. Now, you can say, okay, it's beautiful that you show us all these, but uh, one thing I think a little bit important is to discuss how to unlock these buildings. Because at the very beginning, right, you build your house. Well, you cannot yet build a resource building and you cannot yet build a food storage building. So me, what I'm doing at the very beginning, as soon as I did my house, I build a farm, a farm of 30 plots, three times 10 here, as you can see. So I pick three different uh, items to seeds for spring and then three items for summer and so on and so forth. Because when you are going to, uh, to work on that small field, you are going to earn farming points. And in order to unlock the food storage building, you need to earn farming points. You gain these points either by farming or breeding animals. So just by tilling the soil and planting a little bit in your small farm at the beginning, you will unlock the food storage. Then when you will build the food storage, you will then gain building points. Therefore, you will, at that point in time, unlock the resource storage building. So, uh, this little farm that I recommend in numerous of my guides, it's not just for the farm itself. It's the farming points for the technology, the farming skills here, that all that is uh, intertwined. Next, in the... Uh, 
topics it's our uh, workshop so the workshop uh, you need only 10 points in the production technology uh, likely by crafting primitive tools such as a stone knife um, uh, and uh, wooden hose and uh, whatever you like to craft and, and sell uh, you also get it by cooking a little bit I mean at first you don't cook that much yet so that's the that's 10 points to unlock the workshop next thing you need is a woodshed so for the woodshed you will gain your points when you build the resource storage you build your new house then you will unlock the points for the woodshed. So by building all this, you will then be set to get your first NPC worker. Oh, one last thing I think interesting to mention on your first NPC worker is that your first NPC worker, likely uh, very useful to be a lumberjack, then will go to work at the woodshed here. Okay, right now, my first villager is not at the woodshed she is having a funny pass here but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because whenever uh, she starts to work in the morning whether she is at the woodshed or not she already starts to produce so that you can check that in your tab woodshed here my woodshed is producing Okay, so I have set here logs and firewood as uh, the standard uh, uh, baseline. And now I'm already producing. So if I, I, I wait, pause, uh, come back, uh, come back a bit later. There. Then it has gone forward. There she is. <laughs> I had to go quite a long way. Anyway, so uh, here is my first NPC worker, uh, Grimilda. Uh, quite skilled. Huh? She can do hunting, extraction, farming. I mean, she, it was a good pick. And um, I hope you will uh, get also a first uh, great NPC villager. If you have any comments, suggestions, please don't hesitate. I'll be very happy to uh, help you enjoy this fantastic game uh, that is Medieval Dynasty. Then lastly, uh, please uh, leave a like and uh, consider subscribing for more videos. Until then, have a good day. Cheers.